It's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars with a beautiful 1967 Chevrolet short bed pickup truck. And man, this thing is awesome. It's got a killer patina on it. Super straight body. V8 automatic power steering. Beautiful custom wood bed. Beautiful interior, new seat, new gas tank. New carpet, it's got a new dash cap. New weather stripping on the doors. Let's see, you may or may not need to tap the gas. Yep, fire it right up. Fuel gauge actually does work. Just put some gas in it. Nice, uh, it's clean shifting uh, Chevy uh, 350 turbo transmission. Keep it slow here with the neighbors, but super straight driving, really, really easy to steer. Brakes have been in service. They stop nice and straight. I'll step on the brake pedal here. I'm not touching the steering wheel. I'm stopping. No pulling to the left or right. I actually think that wind noise will go away if I shut that vent all the way. I just realized I left the vent open. This truck drives awesome. Uh, the guy I got it from actually said they were driving it in the Christmas parade. Awesome sounding exhaust. But the side exhaust coming out the back, both sides. I actually really like that, nice and classic. See, I may be able to open this with one hand. Yep. Easy to open. Mickey Thompson valve covers. this off really uh, really really solid truck when we were picking this one up I just extra looked over it just thinking good grief it's so solid most of the spots where you would typically expect to find rust it's it's just it's it's not a, I'm not gonna say it's rust free uh, just because of how old it is but boy it's a uh, very very solid beautiful under the hood the firewall is all looks amazing heater is hooked up um, it's got just a little primitive on off switch but it'll run you out in the winter time it's hot Mickey Thompson valve covers power steering it's got manual uh, but it does have the dual uh, master cylinder uh, manual brakes and the cool thing is is that a lot of people don't know this upgrading this to a power booster is very inexpensive it's an easy job literally just put it what they call the coffee can power booster there's a couple different ways to do it but a very inexpensive job to add power to the brake system if that's something that's important to you it does brake great um, but it's not power brakes drums all the way around new tires new wheels really really pretty Chrome is in great shape. Oh, there's so much uh, dust on here. In fact, I'm not so sure that that might not be a brand new front bumper. I don't see any 
I don't see any damage to it or anything at all. It looks, looks basically like new. The front grill is original. The trim's in good shape. Body lines are very straight. This is an intentional patina paint job with a clear coat over it. If you get right up on it, there's all kinds of little, well, not all kinds. There's a couple of spots here and there. I just want to say, I guess I could say all kinds. There's a little pop, paint pop there. Bottoms of the doors are in awesome condition, as well as the rockers. A few little chips there on the paint. What I love about this is I'm not scared to drive a truck like this up into any kind of parking lot. Um, you know, I'm not worried about somebody messing up my... Uh, to go pull the open this up and I don't think I got it caught on that trim piece there so I may need to adjust that there we go so yeah this wooden bed actually is put over the original steel bed which is in great shape and not rusty I'll show you from underneath so beautiful beautiful wood bed Yeah, there's just this little piece of trim right here that's kind of what happens is when you go to open this up catch on that piece of trim i've had that happen before on other trucks so love the patina on the bed i mean on the tailgate and the tailgate's nice and straight looks really good super straight all the way around a little gas typical kind of gas uh spill there um, that's pretty it's amazing how common that is <laughs> And it looks like it may have hyperextended just a little bit right there before the strap was put on and scratched the door, which is also pretty common. The top looks great. Drip rails are in great shape. Creamy paint. Not absolutely perfect. A couple of little cracks and stuff, but this is a beautiful driver kind of shop truck. Is this is? Uh, I just got done doing the video on the 65, and we were saying shop that was too nice looking for a shop truck. Um, this one may be too nice as well, but the patina just looks fantastic. And actually, if you wanted to finish it off places like this, you could just come back and clear it, like the dash, things like that. Bottoms of doors are in great shape. Touch, you know, touch of normal crusties from old, from it just being old, but I mean, it is solid. Rockers are solid. In fact, I believe these may be uh, new rockers. Dash is an original condition. Speedometer is not hooked up. The lights do work. The wipers work, the switch has been a little finicky. It's like I've had to push the switch and turn the switch a couple times and then the wipers will turn on. Um, and I'd probably just order a new switch. <laughs> uh, primitive heater switch here, like I said, turn it on. One of the nice things is the guy that I got this from put a brand new, these cost about 300 bucks, brand new vintage style. Uh, that's a Bluetooth original like Ventique radio and so you just need to hook it up buy some speakers from walmart or best buy or go to your local stereo shop and have that hooked up and you'll have tunes in here <clears throat> beautiful seat just reupholstered like i said before new carpet the seals are in great shape Seat belts for two, which is great. It's not hard to add a third one if you like having a third passenger in your truck. Door bottoms on this side as well. Like I said, a few little crusties here, but really solid. There's that window I said I didn't shut. A little bit tight there. This is the original frame and I was very very impressed with how clean solid everything looks underneath <coughs> inner fender wells to put that spray and bed liner underneath all of his antique trucks and cars to protect from the Georgia red clay and all that. So, a spot of rust right there. I don't think there's any rust on this truck that I would try to even fix. Cab corner, this is what impressed me, being underneath it. I mean, I believe that's the original cab corner. In great shape. These floor pans look awesome. A little soft spot there, maybe. 
But other than that, this is the original floor pans. For being original, they look awesome. Inner rockers are in great shape. Cab mounts look good. That, was, that one actually almost looks new. New exhaust. New floor pan, I mean, uh, transmission gasket. <laughs> And uh, transmission pan and gasket is what I was going for. <coughs> Some Georgia red clay up in there, Tennessee clay. So here's your bed, like I said, nice and solid from underneath. But man, that wood green up top, custom wood bed just looks so good. But yeah, I'm not seeing any, I mean, there's a few little pinholes and stuff of rust there. If you look really close, I'm holding the camera still. Um, but really, overall, a very solid steel, original steel bed there. Some dirt in the fenders. We've been trying to keep things clean here, and it's either raining or it's pollen here in Georgia right now. Same as the other side. Very, very clean, solid rockers. Floor pan, frame rails, all look so good down here. Flowmaster exhaust. This is a custom cab as well. <coughs> and front fender, well. Well, there you have it. Beautiful, 67. Love this body style. First year that Chevrolet switched this body. And uh, man, these things are just blowing up too. <coughs> Just seems like uh, when I started my business 14 years ago, all anybody wanted was something in the 40s and 50s. And now it just seems like as much as people still love those, getting into the 60s and into the 70s, these trucks are, and even into the 80s now, uh, these trucks are just getting more and more popular. And I'm so happy because it's great to see them on the road. Um, it's fun to see guys driving trucks like this to work um, or just going, not just to the cruisings and the car shows, but actually driving and enjoying the classic cars, getting them back on the road and keeping this, uh, you know, keeping this alive, this American spirit alive. So anyways, hey, we look forward to hearing from you. My phone number's there on the video. I mean, on the uh, website, peachtreeclassiccars.com. And uh, look forward to talking.